Hi family, Freya from Afro Life Welfare bringing you another video. I hope you are well as am I and today's video is a continuation from the Holisticism series that I've been doing over the past I think week, two weeks or so and um yeah it's another chatty video just wanted to kind of check in and just have a little chat about what's been going on um yeah i just feel that i just feel really uneasy i have been the past couple of weeks it's been a very strange time and I've been really emotional, really into my emotions, quite understandably. I'm sure everybody else is really feeling it, no matter where you're from, your ethnicity, you know, you, you can't really ignore the atmosphere and <clears throat> how tense it is. And uh, I've been watching a lot of videos regarding the motherland and as I have stated before I'm from Ghana and I've been just feeling that call that urgency to just up and leave I live in London the UK and it's just like I feel it's time to go home <laughs> and I've seen these videos and it just my homeland just looks magnificent and I feel, oh God, I wish I was there. But I know when the time is ready, I will find myself in Africa and I just can't wait, just can't wait. I've stayed there a few times and I've really loved it. I feel so comfortable, the environment, the sunshine, the vitamin D that you, that you get. <laughs> because of the sunshine and the food and it's, it's the atmosphere, it's just great to be there and <clears throat> you know, UK is good, I feel that I need to be here to learn, the things that I've got to do, I've got to get my business up and running and um, <clears throat> you know, this being in the UK has been a place of growth for sure but there's nothing like being home and I think particularly we as black people we need to really consider our options in terms of where we're living and you know we're all Africans regardless of what you think you know you may think you're British or American or Latin American but really you stem from Africa you really do and it's about re-establishing that relationship again and um, yeah mother mother the motherland is always there and she's rich and she's 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 growing and it's time for us to really make Africa great again it's great already, but even greater with all the ingenuity and the talent and the knowledge we can do that and um, yeah, that's really where I'm at, I'm at right now I'm just really, it's been so reflective for me in my life and what I'm doing and my family and what's important and I just feel that this is a time of real change, that paradigm shift that we're going through, and we are going through it. And it's about accepting it and knowing your place and your purpose and what it is that you stand to gain and what you are doing within your, your lifetime. And yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. I just feel that 
the motherland is calling me, but I'm not ready just yet to go. And I do hope to go at some point, maybe for a visit. But on the videos, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. And I think Africa needs to make it easier for the diasporan to make their home there because I don't know whether you still need a visa or this sort of thing. Uh, it, does, it does make it off-putting. And um, I know Africa is opening up her arms to embrace the brothers and sisters that want to uh, emigrate over there, but you do have to make the logistics, the homecoming a lot more easier. And yeah, just, just all I wanted to say, I hope everybody's well, keeping safe and everything and you know, we just have to ride the moment, stay strong, look after yourself, eat well, exercise, uh, meditate. I'm going to bring a video on meditation because I think it's really important to really in tune into yourself and get those all important messages. So that is me. I bid you good day. Be beautiful, be happy and be blessed. Catch you later. Bye.